pretty fun thing really done this like to do from time to time. We hardly ever really get anything to go, but we have fun doing it. Right? Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, Jeff, you gonna have to get out of here. Hey, you got to get your own, you'll see exactly what it looked like. But uh, if you already read the title, I'm going to try to make a garden pest trap. And I'm trying to make it simple, cheap, and something that works. Yeah, you know me. So, I'm going to use a drill. You can use a soldering iron or whatever to make some holes in the cups. These are my yellow cups. And if you want, I got the smaller variety. This simple cup. If you wonder, where do you get yellow cup like this? I got mine from Party City. They were two ninety eight for twenty cups, which ain't a bad deal. Um, but you know me, I had to go over the top a little bit. So I was in Dollar Tree and they got this little plastic corn. It's also yellow, right? So we're gonna use this. But oh, and I got some uh petroleum jelly, aka Vaseline, from a uh, from the Dollar General, it was on the dollar aisle, one dollar, you can't beat that. So, of course I'm going to put my own twist to it, but first thing I'm going to do, make some holes in the bottom of the cup. There you go. I made two two holes and then I drilled out the middle of it. These were 398 the long uh tags for your plants. And I don't know. I think it had 25 in there for 398. Can't beat that. So all I'm gonna do is put it down in there like that. Put some Vaseline on it. AKA petroleum jelly. Now the gist of this is the bugs get stuck to it, which I know work because I got some yellow sticky traps out there that have been working. And this is reusable. Once you get like a hundred bugs on there, wipe the bugs off, put some more Vaseline on there, and we keep it moving. You gotta spend all that money on stuff. Now there's no surefire way to keep all the pests out of your garden but if this catch 20 that don't eat your cabbage it's a win and all we trying to do is win in the garden so we're gonna keep lathering that on them because I want to catch them all I want once they get caught on that I don't want them to be able to get off so I'm gonna go all the way around it put a heavy glob and this stuff is a dollar man come on one dollar. All right, I got it all the way around. You see, I think I got it on there. So next thing I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix up the uh, plastic corn, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the garden. All right. All right, y'all. I did one more ear of corn, of plastic corn. I'm gonna sit that out there too. But these sticky traps supposed to work for aphids, flies, flea beetles, and white flies. So, you can use anything. I think the trick is the Vaseline, they'll stick to it, and something yellow. I me, mean, I'm just having fun out here, man. So I got this, and I got the yellow cup. So that's what it is. It's cheap. I think everything together was under $7. So let's go out there and see what it look like. All right, y'all, I'm back. Now, what I did was I drilled holes in the back of this little plastic uh, piece of corn or whatever, I took a, uh, the little label stick, whatever that it, that's called, and I got a zip tie and ran through the back. Now remember, these are really long. So I'm going to put it in there, see can we have some fun. Now I'm just going to sit it right there. Now this is the other one I was using, and as you see, it caught bugs, so 
I think that worked. But this version is cheaper and is reusable. I got one right there, one right there. We ain't got nothing on it yet, but we hunt, y'all. <laughs> so look here, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, still hit the thumbs up. We just having fun in the garden, man. It's just a good DIY, whatever, to put in your garden, save some money, and try to keep them doing pests off your uh, plants or whatever. So y'all enjoy y'all day. See y'all later, man.